after a crucial win against Leinster at the Liberty Stadium last weekend, the Ospreys at the Millennium Stadium on Easter Sunday for Judgment Day 2. Join us now as we look ahead to the big game with exclusive interviews from Ryan Jones and Hannah Dirksen. Ryan, a good win on Friday night that just about keeps us in the hunt despite results in Munster. Uh, all to play for the next three games. Yeah, we've got three games left and we, we've still got a chance, you know, that's what we want to set ourselves up for and a uh, great performance at home last Friday certainly, certainly kept us in the hunt. And Sean Holly on Scrum 5 had it in a little spat between you and Dan, what was that all about? <laughs> uh, we had a few choice words but uh, these things happen, you know, it's just uh, the emotion of a pretty tight physical encounter like that and uh, Dan's got an opinion on most things and I didn't agree with his opinion on a certain aspect of the game so I and Julie told him, <laughs> but it's all, no, it all, it all fine, there's no, there's no issues and we were laughing about it shortly after. And looking forward to Sunday, Judgment Day, Millennium Stadium, a venue that you're very familiar with, is it different going there with the region? Yeah, I, uh, I, think, I think it's great, First, firstly I think the opportunity for guys who will possibly never get to play there in their career is, it's, it's a fantastic thing for them to go and do, you know, it's, the Millennium Stadium is, a, is, is property of, of, of the Welsh public and I think it's great that we're able to share it with so many. Um, you know, there is no better venue in the world for rugby, I don't think. It's a purpose-built rugby stadium in, this, in the centre of our capital city and uh, it, bodes for, it does bode for great rugby and we've got opportunity to go there and, and, and like I said, keep, keep that challenge alive really with, a, with another good performance against the Dragons. At this stage of the season, it's one game at a time. Get the Dragons out of the way, see where we are and then focus on Zebra two weeks later. Yeah, it is very much is one game at a time. We can't control what's going on around the country, so you know we've got to make sure we're prepared and geared up for for each individual game, um, and make sure we, we we keep control of what we can. We're joined now by Laura Johnson, the Ospreys commercial team, with this week's Worthington's What's On. Well, before we look ahead to what's coming up next, we just wanted to say thank you to all our Aussie Army members who came along to Aussie's Easter party earlier this week. It was a great day and I know everyone had fun with all the activities and meeting the players. Remember, Aussie's Army is a completely free membership for children aged between 5 and 12, which gives them access to exclusive events with the squad, entry into our matchday mascot draw and a birthday card as well from an Osprey player, amongst other benefits. Signing up is easy, fans just need to go to www.ospreysrugby.com and click on the Aussies Army Under Fan Zone. We'll be back at the Liberty Stadium for our last regular home match of the season in just under a month's time on Saturday the 10th of May when we welcome Connaught for a 6.30pm kickoff. As always the team will be there thanking fans for their support this season and we'll be signing autographs after the game. Tickets are available from all the usual outlets, from the ticket office, online, over the phone and from selected Tesco stores around the region. If you're a local business, why not join us in the Executive Club? They can try before they buy this season-long membership and take advantage of our special buy one guest pass and get the other half price. Places are limited, so please contact Sabi Jamal on 01792 616 507. Hanno, a big win for the Ospreys on Friday night, keeps us in the hunt for the playoffs just about. Yeah, a very good win for us on the weekend and uh, hopefully that can uh, put us in a good mood for the uh, game in the Millennium. You mentioned the game in the Millennium, it's a big Welsh derby against the Dragons, something to look forward to. Yeah, it's always a tough game against uh, the Welsh teams, you know, it just, just put, puts a um, little bit more pressure on just because of the derby. So. Um, it won't be an easy game at all, so uh, hopefully we can prepare ourselves well and uh, get another win. That's a little bit different to going to Rodney Parade, going to one of the best rugby stadiums in the world. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never played on, on, the, on the pitch, but uh, always watch it, always a uh, really good atmosphere, uh, atmosphere so um, I think it'll be a good day. That's important, there's no room for error for us, we've got to win that game if we're going to keep alive our chances of finishing the top four. Yeah, exactly. That's why I say um, last week's win. Hopefully that can get us in a, a good mood to uh, get another win on the weekend. If we can sneak into the playoff places, obviously it's a case of anything can happen in those last two games as we saw two years ago. 
Yeah, I mean, we need to um, just give 110% now. Uh, can't really look at the playoffs yet, just got to keep focusing on uh, the games we've got um, ahead of us. Um, so hopefully we can put in a good shift on Sunday and uh, get four points, hopefully uh, five, and uh, get in the playoffs first. Fabian. That's all for now. Hopefully you'll join us at the Millennium Stadium on Sunday for Judgment Day 2. But don't forget, the final home game of the season is on Saturday, May the 10th, when the Ospreys face Connaught at 6.30pm. Make sure you are there to support the cause. Tickets on sale now at all the regular outlets. <laughs>